Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to cover how to connect your Monoprice Maker Select V2 to your Windows computer. I know it seems like this should be pretty simple, just plug in and wait for Windows to install the drivers, but unfortunately this isn't always the case with these printers. For some of you, you may not have any issues, but if you're like me and you've tried to connect your printer but you weren't able to find it in Cura or any other programs that you use, you may need to take the following steps to get your printer connected to a Windows machine. The first thing you need to do is make sure the baud rate is set up correctly on your printer's control box. For most of these printers, this is already set up by default, but some of them aren't configured correctly when they come from the factory, and this can stop you from connecting your printer to anything through USB, including Windows or even Octoprint on a Raspberry Pi. First, go to the configuration menu on your control box and click on General. You'll see baud rate as well as a few other settings, and you'll want to make sure your baud rate is set to 115200. If your baud rate is set to negative 1 like mine was originally, you'll need to change it. Otherwise your printer should already be configured to connect via USB and you shouldn't need to change anything. Next, click the back button to go to the previous menu and scroll down to click on Store to EEP ROM. After that, the next step is to connect your printer to your computer with a USB cable. Windows won't recognize the Melzi board and the printer automatically, so you'll have to take the following steps to install the drivers. First, Open up Device Manager by opening the Start menu and typing Device Manager into the search box. When the Device Manager window comes up, make sure you see an unrecognized device listed under Other Devices. It may show up as USB Serial Port or it may show up as something else. Next, do a search online for Arduino and download the latest Arduino IDE. Then, install the Arduino IDE on your computer. Make sure you have at least Install Arduino Software and Install USB Driver checked on the Installation Options and click Next. Take note of the Destination folder on the next screen because you'll need that later, and then click Install. After it finishes installing, close the installer and go back to the Device Manager window. Right-click on the USB serial port and choose Update Driver Software. Click on Browse My Computer for Driver Software, then click on Browse and navigate to the destination folder where you installed the Arduino IDE. For my machine, that's C, Program Files, x86, Arduino. Select the Drivers folder in the Arduino folder and click OK. Then click Next, and a Windows security window will most likely pop up to ask if you want to install the driver. Click on Install this driver software anyway, and wait for it to finish installing. At the top of the window, you should see USB serial port COM number. In my case, it's COM4, but it may be different depending on what USB devices you have installed on your computer. You'll need to remember which serial port this is when you connect to your printer, so if you forget, you can always go back to the device manager and expand the ports COM and LPT section. After you get your USB driver installed for the Maker Select, you may need to run Windows Update to get your computer to recognize the board, so if it's not working, don't give up hope just yet. To do this, open the Start menu and type Windows Update, and press Enter or click on the search result that comes up. Click on Check for Updates and wait for Windows Update to do its thing. Under Optional Updates, you should see FTDI Other Hardware USB Serial Port. Select that update, click OK, and then Install Updates. You'll probably have to restart your computer after it's done, but that should be the last step to get your computer to connect to the printer with software like Cura or Repetier Host. Also, when you attempt to connect to your printer, make sure you choose the COM number that matches the USB port your device manager shows for your computer. 
If you're still having problems after following these steps, or if you don't see your printer in your device manager at all, you may want to try connecting with a different USB cable or use a different USB port on your computer. Anyway, if this video was at all helpful to you, feel free to click the like or subscribe button, and if you have any videos that you want to see on my channel, feel free to leave any suggestions down in the comments section. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time!